You found it. Your home for the best content on your favorite team, the Fighting Tigers of LSU. Do us a favor. Subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments below. Be sure to smash that like button. One thing that maybe more than any other for LSU Mississippi State, I'm most interested in seeing. If I were to ask you, I mean, outside of the obvious with special teams, right? If I were to ask you, LSU Florida State, what was the most concerning thing you saw? What would you say? It, like it should, there should be a resounding chorus. Muso, I'll ask you. If I ask you, outside of the obvious, Miss PATs and stuff, what was the most concerning thing we saw against Florida State? Offensive line? Easily. Easily. That, that, shouldn't that be the consensus, right? I mean, we would yeah. all agree. I, there's nothing even a close second. Well, they made some changes last week. And last night, when, during his media availability and his coaches show, Brian Kelly sort of alluded to the fact that more change is coming. Can you play number seven from the press conference, Muse? Here was Brian Kelly when he was asked about the offensive line and their progression in two weeks. Yeah, I think there's been better communication up front. You know, we, we had a, a, a very inexperienced center that we were trying to really force in, in a very short window into that position with, with Garrett. And he gave us everything he could, but we needed to make a change there to gain a little bit more experience. And, and Turner's done a really nice job there. So we've gained a lot of what we would consider um, real good communication, you know, uh, along the, the, the front five there. But, I, you know, again, I, I think it's – they just need time together, you know. You still have a group of guys where, you know, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna have new guys playing, you know, each and every week, and they're rotating in. So it's just a, it's a process right now that they're just gonna need to spend more time together. Still have guys rotating in. They need more time together. On his coach's show, Brian Kelly was pretty clear that they're not done rotating on the offensive line. The tackle position now, you know, we get a rotation there. Uh, Frazier's out there. You know, he's a big physical player that, that gives us, you know, that kind of size. And, and look, I mean, I think it's still a situation where, you know, you're going to see uh, Emory Jones. You're going to see Cam Wire. Uh, you're going to see Trayman Shorts. But you're going to see a lot of rotation still uh, in, in that offensive line. You're going to see a lot of rotation still in that offensive line. Y'all, maybe the most, and, and I'm going to tell you where I think they're going tomorrow in just a second, because if you remember last Friday, last Friday we sat here and Brian Kelly was talking about rotating at the tackles. And we talked about the possibility of rotating at left tackle with Will Campbell. Because Brian Kelly did say, look, he had a freshman who struggled a little bit against Florida State. And so we thought, we thought I thought, that they might take a look at rotating at left tackle, which they did not. Will Campbell stayed. They rotated at right tackle. Cam Wire started the opener. Miles Frazier started against Southern. And who was the first right tackle in off the bench when they rotated? It was the freshman Emory Jones. I think they're going to play Emory Jones tomorrow. I think that's going to be the next rotation. I think they're going to give Emory a shot at right tackle. And if that's the only change they make, I don't know. But I think that's the next obvious thing. Listen, Brian Kelly, this was maybe the next most obvious thing. We and when we talk about this so much, and we look at the the roster and so much turnover and and things that have almost become cliched buzzwords that we've used for months now since Brian Kelly was hired, you're starting to see it manifest in the reality of the situation. Listen to Brian Kelly. This is um, this is number five from his press conference. Talking about, listen, he had December up until spring football. They had spring football. They had the rest of the summer, fall camp, and now two games. With all of that context, listen to Brian Kelly talking about his roster. Yeah, there's no doubt this is um, discovery each week. Good and bad. And it's not just necessarily, you know, tactical uh, and technical. This is still about good habits, bad habits, how to practice. You know, and in some instances, you know, when you're not 100%, can you give me, if you're 80, can you give me 100% of 80? So all those things, you know, we're, you know, we're kind of going through that process right now. And, and I think it's going to be something that 
continues to um, evolve. You know, we're still building trust that they need to trust us and, and we need to trust them when they tell us something as well. So long answer to the question is we're, we're still in a process right now. Discovery. We're still building trust. It's a long process. I know these are not words that fans want to hear on the Friday before LSU plays Mississippi State. I get it. But it, it matters so much when you're evaluating this team. Because this season is not about go win 9, 10 games and get to a great bowl. This is about get better week one to week two, week two to week three, week three to week four. Eliminate a lot of the mistakes you saw in week one where you saw some of that. You block better on field goal PAT. You fielded punts. Now let's see if you're going to face a better defensive line. Can you hold up? Do you go more tempo? Can you get the ball to your playmakers? A lot of those things that went wrong against Florida State, can you correct against Mississippi State? And in so doing... Win the game because you were on the doorstep of beating Florida State even with all of those mistakes. You muffed two punts. You gifted them great field position, and you were still in a position to win that game at the very end. Clean those up at home, and you should beat Mississippi State. Discovery, process, they're still gaining trust. All of that stuff is week-to-week progression. I think you're going to see, Brian Kelly's telling you, there's, you're still going to see more rotation on the offensive line. You would love it. If you had your five starters set, done. But you don't. They're, it's, they're still in a phase of discovery here as SEC play starts. And then next week, it's New Mexico. But I'm going to tell you, in these next two weeks, you better figure that out. Because we've talked about it for, for months, y'all. We've talked about it. You better be ready to roll come October because the gauntlet starts at Jordan-Hare October 1st. So use this game. Hopefully, you win it. And next week against New Mexico... To continue that discovery, to iron things out, but to keep getting better and better and get ready to rock come October. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.